In the northeastern corner of Brazil, surrounded by seasonally dry tropical forests, researchers have just identified a massive, hugely extensive network of termite mounds. First, let me explore a little bit of the biology and mechanics here, and then I'll get to why this is so newsworthy. So, we all know that termites form colonies. And these colonies of termites will dig out in an underground network of narrow horizontal tunnels to live in and lay their eggs and bring back food. All of this digging to create these tunnels will displace a lot of dirt, and so the termites will carry the dirt, little bit by little bit, out of a hole on the surface, and they'll just dump it nearby. As hundreds and thousands and millions of termites do this over and over and over again, the dirt that they throw out on the surface will accumulate into a large mound. All of this activity requires well-fed termites, and well-fed termites will poop. All of their waste will also have to be carried out of the hive, and it will get similarly deposited into this growing mound. Depending on the size of the colony, these mounds can be massive, multiple meters tall, and sometimes more than twice that in diameter. A vertical corridor, about four inches in diameter, runs up through the middle of the mound, which the termites will crawl up to get to the hole at the top, to throw out more dirt and waste. So they don't actually live in the mounds. The mounds are just the masses of excavated material and waste that were removed from their true homes, which are the underground tunnel networks. Okay, so what's so great about these termite mounds? They're just piles of dirt and termite poop. Well, the thing is, they're really large piles of dirt. These Brazilian termite mounds are unusually large. They're 2.5 meters tall, and 9 meters wide at the base. This is indicative of a really big underground nest. And on top of this, these mounds are really old. The researchers used a technique called optically stimulated luminescence to measure the amount of radiation emitted from mineral grains that are being held under green or blue light. The amount of radiation that's emitted gives a clue as to when the dirt was last exposed to the light of the sun, or around the same time that it was deposited by a termite and then buried by additional dirt. Using this technique, the Brazilian termite mounds were found to be 4,000 years old, and the Centermis dearest termites that built them are still living in them today. So we have these really old, really big termite mounds. There's more, and in my opinion, this is the craziest part. There are 200 million of them, taking up 10 cubic kilometers of soil spread out across almost a quarter million square kilometers. That's 200 million massive, ancient termite mounds spread across the northeastern corner of Brazil in an area that's about the size of Great Britain. This colossal network of termite mounds is so big that you can see them from space. Quite literally, the scientists had to use satellite imagery to study the full extent of these termite mounds. Roy Funch is a co-author on the study, and a biologist at the Brazilian Universidade Estadual de Fuera de Santana. He described the termite mounds by saying, quote, This is apparently the world's most extensive bioengineering effort by a single insect species. Unquote. Stefan Martin was another co-author on the study, and he said that this massive expanse of termite mounds, quote, represents one of the biggest structures built by a single insect species. It's incredible that in this day and age, you can find an unknown biological wonder of this sheer size and age still existing with the occupants still present." Unquote. 